For our daily cancellation, we turn to recovery coach and weight neutral trainer, Ashantis Jones. Now, these two meaningless job titles fall under the umbrella of an even more meaningless job title. On her website, Jones refers to herself as a wellness advocate and offers paid wellness consultations. She promises that she never judges, just supports. This is what a person, uh, you know, most often means these days when they say that they're a wellness advocate or life coach or counselor, even therapist. What they mean is that they will they will cheer you on and offer vague support for whatever life choices you've already made. What they, what they most certainly won't do and wouldn't know how to do anyway is guide you towards better life choices and a better life. That would require judgment. You know, you can't help someone better themselves without exercising judgment, but judgment is bad, we're told, which means that these counselors and coaches will not actually do any counseling or coaching. Wellness in this context doesn't mean physical health, and it certainly doesn't mean mental or emotional health. It means something more like mental comfort. So they exist to make you feel comfortable with your own dysfunction. They will not cure the dysfunction or help you navigate past it. Rather, they will convince you to accept and embrace your dysfunction as an identity. That's what Ashantis Jones is all about. And I gleaned all of that just by looking at her website for a few seconds. But there is a caveat to this um, non-judgmental affirmative model. Because when you dig just a little bit deeper, it doesn't take long before you discover that the non-judgmental types are, in fact, extremely judgmental. They will judge you up and down in six ways from Sunday. They will judge both your behavior and your motivations. They'll claim the power to peer inside your very soul and pass judgment on it. It's just that they will judge wrongly. So this is what you can know about every single person who brags about their own lack of judgment. In every case, every time, these will be the most judgmental people you ever come across in your life. They don't practice no judgment. They practice bad judgment. Everybody judges. Okay? It's not possible to be a sentient being in the world without engaging in acts of judgment nearly every waking moment of the day. Every waking moment, you're making judgment calls. You're making decisions. The anti-judgment movement is really a movement away from good judgment and towards bad judgment, foolish judgment, destructive judgment. These are people who judge without wisdom. Which leads us to this recent TikTok video from wellness coach Ashantis Jones, where she uh, non-judgmentally explains that anyone who tries to lose weight is a fat phobic bigot. Listen. Another great question this person is asking if there is any time in which intentional weight loss is not fat phobic. I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of the times, if you are intentionally losing weight, it is fat phobic. I'm leaving that point little zero one percent in case I am truly, truly wrong, but I don't think I am. And here's the reason why. I'm not saying if you exercise and happen to lose weight that that is fat phobic. I'm not saying if you start a medication and you happen to lose weight, that is fat phobic. I am not saying that if you're going through any type of, you know, illness, and that is altering your body in some way, that that is fat phobic. I'm saying when you are intentionally exercising to lose weight, altering your diet to lose weight, doing any activity intentionally to lose weight is fat phobic. And the reason why is because you are intentionally attempting to make your body smaller to fit into what narrative? The narrative that smaller is healthier, even though we've already discussed why that's not true. Oh, well, thank God. That, that's a relief. Don't worry, folks. Ashantis Jones has given you permission to lose weight if you have an illness. So if a terminal disease is ravaging your body and you're withering away and you happen to lose weight, Ashantis will give you a get out of fat phobia free card. She'll even come to the hospital and deliver last rites, absolving you of fat phobia so that you, can, you'll, you won't be condemned eternally in the afterlife. She is a merciful master. Indeed, in her generosity, she has even allowed us to lose weight as a result of exercise so long as losing weight wasn't the goal. So if you're going for a run around the neighborhood because you want to work off your beer gut, you are fat phobic scum and you should die. But if you're sprinting through an airport terminal because you want to get to the Dairy Queen at the food court before the flight boards in 15 minutes, that will be acceptable. In one case, you're exercising for the sake of losing weight. In the other case, you're exercising with the intent of stuffing your fat face with ice cream. These are the sorts of nuances that we need Ashantis Jones to help us navigate. This is why she's the professional.
You know, men hate going to the doctor. I know I do. You have to make your appointments, spend half your day sitting around in the waiting room, and often endure uncom uncomfortable conversations about your body with another man that you hardly know. Rex M MD understands that no one likes going to the doctor's office. That's why they've created a safe online platform for men to discreetly consult with licensed physicians and get personalized treatment plans. Rex MD makes it uh, easy and inexpensive to get generic and branded Viagra and Cialis online. No waiting rooms, no embarrassing trips to the doctors, no insurance, no copays. Did you know Viagra can cost $90 a pill? Well, Rex, Rex MD has generic Vi Viagra for just as low as uh, $2 a pill. Quite a savings there. Just fill out their online medical questionnaire. A doctor will review your situation and, if appropriate, prescribe you medication as well. Your medication will ship right to your door with free two-day shipping. It's fast, simple, and cheap. Plus, you can access your U.S. licensed RexMD physician anytime you need. RexMD has already helped over 300,000 guys gain confidence quickly and conveniently. They're here to help you, too. You can take advantage of their best deal yet at rexmd.com slash Walsh and save up to 90% off by paying only $2 per do dosage. That's rexmd.com slash Walsh for up to 90% off. Go to rexmd.com for more details and safety information. Have you been thinking about uh, going back to school to finish your degree, or are you just starting your college journey but have little time to be in person with classes? Grand Canyon University's online programs are designed to make earning your degree easy and accessible no matter your age or your stage in life. Whether you're a busy professional looking to advance your career or a stay-at-home parent juggling family responsibilities, their online courses give you the flexibility you need to learn on your own terms. Grand Canyon University specializes in helping you fit your bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree into your busy day. From scholarships to customized scheduling, your graduation team, led by your own GCU counselor, provides you with the personal support you need to succeed. So why wait? If you're ready to take your education to the next level, you need Grand Canyon University. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Visit gcu.edu. That's gcu.edu. Now, I'm not going to waste a lot of time explaining, once again, why the concept of fat phobia is nonsensical. Phobias are irrational fears, by definition. A fear of becoming fat is not irrational, given that fatness comes with heart disease, cancer, dozens of other negative health, health outcome, outcomes. And yes, fatness also looks displeasing. Fatness is not attractive because it is unhealthy. We are wired to be attracted to health and vitality, not disease and decay. Now, it's not that everyone who's even slightly overweight is automatically ugly, but that nobody is attractive because they are overweight. This is why a slogan like fat is beautiful is not only morally problematic as it encourages people to, to engage in self-destructive behavior, but also factually wrong. Fatness itself is not beautiful. Fatness, fatness is excessive lard on the body. Okay, that's what fat is. It's a lard that you're carrying around on your body. There's nothing inherently appealing about that. If an overweight person is beautiful, it is in spite of being fat, not because of it. But aside from uh, the aesthetic concerns, the main point is that, again, fatness will disable you. Fatness will kill you. And that provides very rational reasons to fear it. It is not fat phobia. It is fat realism. But it's not a misunderstanding about obesity that drives the fat acceptance movement. Even Ashantis Jones understands that, you know, objectively, by every measure, it is better to be physically fit than physically fat. Yet she, along with all the other fat advocates, um, admonishes you for dieting and exercise and, and tries to, you know, if you try to improve yourself simply because your self-improvement makes her feel worse about herself. That's what this is, okay? We all need to understand that this is so much of, of, of what drives the wokeism on the individual level. It is an ideology of envy. People who are unhappy with their lives dissatisfied with their own choices, but yet lack the discipline and courage to make the necessary changes. People who have no self-control, no ability to moderate, no capacity for delayed gratification. People who are not healthy, not well-adjusted, therefore don't want you to be either. And this is the case whether we're talking about fat acceptance or gender identity, really anything else. Everything you hear from that side is motivated, at least on some level, by the fact that they are unhappy and your happiness makes them feel even less happy by comparison. The attack on the nuclear family is most especially fueled by this mentality. Lots of people who came from broken families and then grew up and created more broken families absolutely despise those of us who have happy, intact families. They're like the, uh, the five-year-old bully at the beach who can't figure out how to make a good sandcastle, so he knocks down other kids' sandcastles instead. So much of the madness that grips hold of our culture right now 
is driven by motivations not any more complicated than that. They don't want you to be happy because they're not happy. They don't want you to be healthy because they aren't healthy. And they're not going to put the work in. And the fat acceptance advocate who advocates fat acceptance purely because she's too lazy to go for a jog is really the perfect example of this, which is why our friend Shantis Jones is today canceled. And that'll do it for this portion of the show. As we move over to Members Block, you can become, become a member today by using code Walsh at checkout for two months free on all annual plans. Um, see you over there. If not, talk to you tomorrow. Godspeed. <laughs>